they produce content. They have an initiative right now where uh, they are marshalling all the content that our other nonprofit organizations produce. And uh, they're going to have a channel so someone like me can sit instead of just watching a hockey game on my smart TV, I can go to America's voting channel and see some of the content that we produce. So it's just a, an outstanding job. In 2022, we received a three-year grant for America's voting channel seven. The main objectives are to develop a mainstream voting safety and voter education video service, a cross-platform smart TV voting presence in collaboration with other voting safety advocates, and to launch narrated drone videos to assist mariners in the safe navigation of ocean inlets. We're privileged to have contributed content to America's voting channel, our Operation Dry Water videos, uh, the campaign against drinking and voting, that's an amazing program, and, and we're excited that it can be a part of uh, the Boating, America's Boating Channel. Since 2016, the America's Boating Channel has been the boating safety and boater education video series for the U.S. Power Squadron, America's Boating Club. And this year is the premier sponsor of the International Boating and Water Safety Summit. So thank you, Marty. Um, thank you for your confidence. Not only will these videos series um, partners be at IBWSS that Vern talked about. But this will be a premier event. Uh, this will be the launch. As Peg Phillips mentioned, America's Boating Channel will introduce its new smart TV offering at the International Boating and Water Safety Summit in April, which I will be attending, Peg. Would America's Boating Channel grant program manager Marty Lafferty please come up to share a sneak preview of the launch? So at the opening of IBWSS, Chief Commander Fraser will press the button literally to launch our new smart TV offerings. So to give you a preview of what that ceremony is going to be like, count this down with me. Three, two, one. Thank you, Marty. I'm excited about that launch, and I, I think it's a great, great thing for uh, U United States Power Squadrons and the boating uh, community. If you haven't registered for IBWSS, please please take a look at the, um, the program. I want to thank uh, NASBLA for being such a great partner. Um, the NASBLA committees, especially the chairs, are working directly with my staff um, to drive the program content. And I tell you, this year, um, having an, uh, a really significant on-water event was something that was vital to the, to the committee. So thanks to Water Sports Industry Association and the Coast Guard for allowing this to happen. Um, on Tuesday afternoon, we're going to give everybody a box lunch and we're going to bus you to the water. Uh, WSIA will have 10 to 12 boats there, um, PWCs, e-foils, um, and you can, you can have different levels of participation depending on your comfort level. You can stand on the bank and watch. You can get on a power boat and be close to somebody who is wake surfing. Or you can be like a Grant Brown and put on a, a dry suit and get on that e-foil. Who, who here has ever seen up close and personal an e-foil? See, we got to change that. And that's why the committees found it so important. Who here has up close and personal been on a power boat while somebody is wake surfing. Again, we really, there you go. You are a wake surfer, right? <laughs> Follow him on Facebook. 